guys, that's from here. Everyone seems to wonder why, whether or not Twilight is immortal. It has been stated she won't outlive her friends, but how come she doesn't have wavy alcohol on her except that one scene in Twilight Kingdom? How come Cadence only had wavy alcohol on her in that one scene in Candlelight Wedding? How come they're not immortal? Are they immortal, actually? Now, there are quite a few theories on this. One, like, some of my favourites are like the one that Twilight has, like, grown to her stronger, like, alcohol body. But the more likely one is that Celestia only had a different kind of alcorn, so a different place. That one was Red Bro Notion. Great channel, you should probably check it out. Did a great Open Up Your Eyes remix. So good. Anyway, back, back on topic. But I feel like I may have come up with a third explanation. That alicorns actually gain power from different power sources. What? Allow me to explain. Like I always have to. Well, I noticed that Celestia is the princess of the sun, while Luna is the princess of the moon and dreams. Dreams may be a form of power, as the Tantipus is gaining power of Luna's guilt, but that is dream Luna's guilt, not the physical Luna's guilt. She, well, it can feed off both. So maybe dream, at least dream ponies, are a form of power. It's quite likely the moon and the sun in MLP are also forms of power. As they can be controlled by magic, Celestia implies in the Celestia and the Royal Rescue, or whatever it's called, the Celestia chapter book, that the sun is somewhat sentient. And it, it, it's just, it's a giant ball of gas or a giant hump of rock, especially since it's implied in this universe that the sun and the moon rotate around Equestria. It's possible that they contain some form of magic of their own, especially since Luna can be, or Celestia can be sealed within them. Like, how can they can't just escape easily? It is possible they have some kind of magic to them. Maybe pull out a power source of some form. Maybe Celestia and Luna, for thousands of years, have been feeding off of this same power in a way. Which is why they are immortal and why they are so much more powerful than Tw Twilight and Cadence. But I don't think the Alcorns choose what they gain power from. Like, you know? Otherwise, Twilight could just absorb all the sunlight or something. But then, what would Twilight and Cadence gain power from? Well, they definitely haven't been gaining power as long as Celestia and Luna, so that explains why they are physically like, weaker and don't have the wavy hair except when they absorb. Or there's power. For example, Cadence combines power with Shining, who is extremely powerful, or at least above average unicorn, most likely, considering how he's captain the Royal Guard. Boom, Wavy Alcorn here will blast defeat the changelings. Twilight literally takes on the power of the other three Alcorns. Boom, Wavy Alcorn here. And I feel like Cadence's power source is love, and actually explains. The real reason why she had the Crystal Heart as a cutie mark before she even had heard of the Crystal Empire. Because she absorbed the love just like the Crystal Heart. Destiny and Prophecy was a big part of like the early seasons of MLP, though not so much now. Like there probably are prophecy and stuff that just haven't been mentioned yet. But I feel like part of that was Cadence, because the pony when she flies to turn to Crystal Heart says, Behold, the Crystal Princess! It was something like that anyway. It's it's been a couple of weeks since I've seen the season 3 open because I watch MLP way too much. But, at the same time, maybe what is symbolised was her absorbing love. You know how the crystal heart like absorbs the love and like the crystal ponies put their heads on the ground and like hug the floor? <laughs> face cuddled the floor. Hashtag face cuddled the floor. Anyway, when they do that, like, it's pretty epic. Pretty, pretty epic. And yeah, face called the floor. But maybe Cadence, the reason why she often simply like spreads a lot of see in the flashback in Cantalot Wedding, is because she is somewhat gaining power from it, explaining why maybe she could put a force field around the Crystal Empire to protect it from Sombra. Maybe she's not particularly good at force fields like Shining is, although I will say she probably is very, very good at force fields. But maybe the reason why it can have like a very similar effect to the Crystal Heart force field is because Cadence's power, or is its source, is a love. Maybe even the Crystal Heart itself. As for Twilight, I think her power source is friendship.
Because the magic of friendship is what it's all about. It explains why friendship is magic. Friendship is twilight magic. But the biggest evidence for this statement, aside from how much twilight has grown over the series and seems to become more powerful, is actually a statement in the season 7 episode, Not Asking for Trouble. None of you were expecting that, were you? Yeah. I can't remember who says this line, but Zandi says in the start of the episode, Forging friendships is what ponies do! I can't. I really can't remember who says that, I, I'm so sorry. If you guys can leave down in the comments, I'll be so grateful. I just can't remember, I just know that was a line somewhere early on in that episode. I feel like it might have been Rarity, but I'm probably wrong. Anyway, so... It probably wasn't Rarity. Ponies, like, are forge friendships. Makes sense why they have so many allies. They're the ones who made friends who reach out to the changelings, the dragons, the yaks, to some extent the griffins. The hippogriffs are quite clearly, Mount Everest is probably considered part of Equestria. The friends with one guy from Clearstown, pir- and the friends with pirates and everything. Yeah. Notice that it was Equestria who formed all those alliances, and because of both their connections to Equestria, the dragons and the changelings are now quite are now allies as well. Pretty cool, is but that's like a five or six video long series, so yeah. But the most important pony of them all gains power from friendship. It makes sense. This all makes sense.